bring your boring bar into position on the work so that your first cut will remove say perhaps uh, ten thousandths or even less and consider that to be your trial cut. Now in this particular case we're going to bore all the way through the work so we don't have to worry so much about the depth or hitting the vise but you can set your stop up here for your depth if it's going to be a blind hole that you're boring or uh, and when you're if you're using power feed when the stop comes down it will trip off the power feed we're not going to use the power feed today we're going to feed with the hand crank you can of course feed with the crank on the knee here which I don't prefer to do but I'd rather do it up here do not feed with uh, the regular quill handle here like a drill press that doesn't give you the control that you need I would use the uh, crank you can also put uh, one of these quick stops on there so that when you come down you you will hit right here and that assures you that you're not going to run into your vise be sure and wear your safety glasses when you bore because these chips can really fly uh, take a trial cut and see what your speed is and if there's any vibration if it vibrates again slow it down I'm on uh, this 1115 rpm and it seems to be okay okay with all of those things in consideration and the table locked in the X and Y axis always make sure that's locked uh, we are about ready to start boring I like to do my measuring with a telescoping gauge and a micrometer over a caliper but that's totally your preference it's kinda hard to get in here with an inside caliper because the boring bars in the way and I don't trust those things anyway I'm old-fashioned where I like a nice stare at micrometer also I, I always write down my dimension and we're gonna bore to 1.250 lest you forget it and I did already set up this stop so that when I am cranking this down watch this right here and I come all the way through it comes down and hits it and you heard that click that uh, disconnected the power the, the feed even though it isn't a power feed I will crank it back up or we'll, I'll just move it back up with the uh, quill right there and then move this lever out and then it's ready to crank now I gotta set the camera on the tripod okay I got my safety glasses on and I'm ready to bore I set the boring bar for about a ten thousand speed I already took one initial cut to make sure it was all set up right and we'll turn the machine on and here we go for our first pass you can see the chips flying and just these are roughing cuts here so we're not too concerned about the the finish yet but you can see most of the chips are coming out the bottom I know you can't see into the bore very well I back this out turn off the spindle and feed it in about ten thousandths I'll take that uh, chip off of there I will take a reading here with the telescope engaged. And we still have over a hundred thousands to go. So we got, I'm not going to take it all the way because this video is all ready uh, running much longer than what I wanted it to. But I'll take just one or two more passes so you get the gist of the thing. And uh, matter of fact, this next pass here, we'll pretend that it's our last pass, so we're going to feed real slow. And we're getting a pretty decent cut, I can tell from where I'm at. When you get down to your last passes, your final passes, just take off two or three thousandths and keep stopping and checking your uh, dimension so you don't go over. It's easy to take the chips off. It's mighty hard to put them back on. You don't want to spoil your work. And then, of course, I would take another reading and with the micrometer and the gauge 
and determine how much I had to turn it in when I finally got to the to the final cuts and uh, that is how you bore on the milling machine. This may have to be divided into a, a, a couple different uh, videos here I'm not sure before I get to the uh, the one on uh, drilling the holes. Be sure and watch that one too and go back and watch the other video if you haven't watched it already. Hope this helps you when you start boring on your Bridgeport milling machine.